Hi, welcome to Daily Nuggets of Inspirations. Listen, I'd like to, uh, to say a special welcome to, to those of you who are viewing for the very first time. Please like and subscribe. And a, a special, special thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And please share, share, share this video, encourage others. What a blessing it is to be in your company once again. Listen, you know, I had a a different topic to to speak to you, to encourage you today. But as soon as I I I lifted up, I lifted the book because I'm taking it from one of my very first book. Yes, um, it came to me the anvil the anvil to share with you and that that's the that's kind of like the nugget today the anvil but what i'm what what um kind of makes me a bit <laughs> emotional about it is the fact that this this particular it's a it's a very short writing but it has great significance because i remember before writing writing it you know I was in I was suffering from I mean severe pain and the pain was so horrible it was like this horrible horrible headache and like I, I you know I just drew from the strength of the Lord and praying through it praying through it trying to get through it and one particular night I, I actually did everything that I needed to do, um, you know, with, you know, bearing the pain and everything. And then as I was re going to my bed from the kitchen, I said, Lord, I said, I cannot take this pain no more. And the very second that I said it and I did not verbalize it, I, I said it within so it was in my thoughts to the Lord. I kid you not. I just felt this. I heard these words on the anvil. And you know what? I was so desperate. I was in so much pain. <laughs> I said, you know, I was I started looking all around the the, the kitchen for a piece of paper just to write the words that I was hearing. And the very second I found a piece of paper and I began to write what I was hearing. I was hearing it and I, and I wrote it, I wrote it on the piece of paper. And the miraculous thing was while writing what I was hearing, I didn't feel the pain anymore. The pain left as I was writing it was like it was a miracle and it was 9 p.m. that night everybody was asleep at my house and I thought of my one of my aunts and I I, I, I had to telephone her even though it was late and I said listen auntie something just happened um, you know I heard these words I said listen to these words and she listened and as she listened she says, Margaret, these words are, are ministering to her. And, and you know, from that day, from that day, it birthed a series of writings, books, but it came out of pain. So what am I saying to you today? The nugget, the nugget today is that you may be, you may seem to be at your worst, going through your worst, feeling like you cannot go or make another step. I only stop by to tell you it's a birthing. It's the birthing of the gifts and the, the ministry, what God has within you. He's birthing it out of you, but it comes through great pain. The nugget today is don't you give up in your pain. Don't you give up hold on hold on to your faith and believe God hold on to the word 
and I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it in your hearing because my time is quickly going. I am going to read it from my book. Yes, my very first book. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah. Anyhow, because of the lighting, you may not be able to see it. But here it is, the anvil. And you may ask, what is, what is the definition of, of anvil? And according to the dictionary, the definition is an iron or steel block on which metal objects are hammered, hammered into shape. It's a lot of pain. Yes. And here, here are the words that I heard that night. On the anvil, the master builder himself in the midst of your greatest pain. You are thrusted toward your purpose and destiny, provided you stay on the anvil and yield yourself to God. While on the anvil, every work of the flesh is chiseled away. Self is dethroned in total surrender. In spite of immense suffering, persecution, and rejection, being misunderstood, and lied on, your response to the master builder will be, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Immediately, you become his masterpiece, a portrait of the love of Christ that will impact everyone's life you come into contact with. You, yes you, you will bring hope and healing restoration, deliverance, and complete transformation for the honor and glory of God who loves you. Yes, the nugget for today, I reiterate it. In your greatest pain, you are being thrusted toward your place of destiny. Don't you dare give up. Don't give up. You're not alone. So until next time, God bless you.